hello everyone good morning so we are continuing with our portion network uh, sorry nec license exam and we are covering the topic number five that is concept of computer network so in last video i covered section 5.2 and in that we covered flow control and data link protocol so in this video i'll be covering multiple access protocol and lan addressing fine so without uh, lan addressing and arp so without any further delay let's go to the mcq portion so here i'm covering the portion multiple access protocol sorry so the first question is which multiple access protocol is commonly used in ethernet network where devices contain for access to the shared medium okay so if you are using a shared medium suppose this is a medium and multiple computers are there so if they all are going to share this single medium so which protocol is used so in this no tdma cdma fdma but csmvcd that's carrier sales multiple access with collision detection is used here next question is in csmca uh, that is carrier sales multiple access with collision avoidance protocol what action does a device take before transmitting to avoid collision okay so the first um, first thing that it is going to do in this protocol is it checks for the availability of the channel that is whether the channel is available or not so b is the correct answer let's go to the next question which multiple access protocol assigns a specific time slot to each device for transmission avoiding the collision okay so here <coughs> okay so which protocol is going to allocate the time slot okay so if you know that in tdma what we do is we divide the time with the we divide the channel in the term of time slot and we give one one time slot to each medium each channel okay so here tdma is the correct answer question number four in slotted aloha protocol what is the time slot okay so i hope you know what is the concept of slotted aloha if you don't know please let me know i'll uh, explain this in the, in the another video so in slotted aloha what happens is we are going to divide the channel in the form of time slots okay so the time it takes to transmit one from no a fixed interval of time during which transmission can occur yeah so whenever it, it uh, divide the uh, medium in the form of time slots so what happens in that particular time slot only we have to transmit okay so fixed interval of time during which transmission can occur this is the correct answer let's go to next question which multiple access protocol use a pooling mechanism where a central authority ox, uh, control access to the shared medium so of course the answer is here only pooling is the correct answer let's go to next question question number six okay so what is the main advantage of cdma in wireless communication so main advantage is we can use the bandwidth efficiently so a is the correct answer in csma cd what does a device do after detecting a collision it continues to transmit without any action no it increases its transmission power no it stops transmitting and waits for a random amount of time yes so in csma cd whenever an error occur it waits for a random amount of time and again it start descending question number eight which multiple access protocol allow multiple device to transmit simultaneously in different frequency so fdma that is frequency division multiple access is the correct answer let's go to next question question number nine what is the main limitation of aloha protocol in terms of channel efficiency okay so in aloha what happens is the devices they cannot transmit simultaneously okay so this is the main disadvantage we can say which protocol access uh, which multiple access protocol is commonly used in cellular network which devices assign the unique code okay so code division multiple access in this protocol we commonly use in cellular network and here unit code is assigned to its devices okay so cdm is the correct answer fine so let's go to next portion that is lan addressing and arp that is address resolution protocol so the first question is in a local area network lan what is the purpose of mac address so basically mac address is used to identify a device okay uniquely so the uh, options are to identify the network segment no to uniquely identify the device on lan so this can be a correct answer 
let's go and see other options also so to root data no to assign ip address no so b is the correct answer next question is which layer of the osi model is responsible for addressing and data link control in lan okay so answer is already in question only data link control it means that data link layer is the correct answer let's go to next question what is the length of a typical mac address okay so if you know that uh, there are three types of address mac address ip address and port address so mac address the length is 48 bit ip address the length is 32 bit and again port address the length is 16 bit okay so 48 bit is the correct answer let's go to next question in ethernet lan in ethernet lan what is the format of mac address okay so the format of mac address is it is of 48 bit and generally the format is of hexadecimal next go to next question what is the purpose of arp okay so the purpose of address resolution protocol is to resolute or to translate mac address to ip address okay so b is the correct answer let's go to next question <coughs> in arp what happens when a device wants to determine the MAC address associated with a specific IP address. Okay. So what happens in ARP? The device will broadcast the ARP request. Okay. The device will broadcast an ARP request to all other devices. Okay. So A is the correct answer. Let's go to next question. What is the uh, purpose of ARP CAS? What is the purpose of ARP cache so it is used to cache means storing device so it is used to store the you know this um, IP to MAC address mapping okay the, uh, it is used to store that mapping so that we can later we can find it easily so to store MAC address of all devices no to store IP address of all devices no to store the default gateway no to store a mapping of IP address to MAC address yes so that next time again if you want to find the relevant IP or MAC address we can get it as a quicker rate. Let's go to next question what does ARP how does ARP handle the situation where two devices on the same LAN have same IP okay. So it assigns a unique MAC address no it assigns a unique IP address no it relies on the MAC address for the uniqueness yes. Okay, so it uses this MAC address in order to be unique. What is the typical TTL for ARP? Uh, for ARP entries in a device, okay, so a few second, no, several minutes, hours, no, indefinitely, no. So B is the correct answer. In ARP, what is the purpose of <coughs> ARP reply? ARP reply. So reply is generally related with the acknowledgement. So to request IP address, no. To acknowledge recipient of the IRP request, yes, this can be a correct answer. Let's see the other option. To inform device, to inform device of network topology changes, no. To update the cache, no. So B is the correct answer. Okay, so that's all for this video. In next video, we will be covering other two topics. Till then, stay safe and thank you.